The New York Giants offseason included signing free agents Damon Snacks Harrison and Olivier Vernon, which greatly improved the defensive line. But will those moves in free agency hide the weaknesses in the linebacker core? Harrison is known to be a dominant run-stuffing nose tackle who will markedly improve the D-line's ability to stop opposing teams' rushing attacks. In fact, according to Pro Football Focus, Harrison was the number one rated interior defensive lineman in 2015. On the edge, Vernon should provide a much needed pass rush that was virtually non-existent last season. Vernon was third in quarterback hits behind J.J. Watt and Aaron Donald. The Giants defense was 30th in the league in sacks with a total of 23. That number needs to improve as well as the defensive line's ability to hurry the passer. Without a significant improvement in that aspect of the game, the soft spot in the middle of the field may be exploited. The lack of a dynamic playmaker at the linebacker position has been an ongoing issue as the team has attempted to upgrade the position with low to middle round draft picks and journeyman players via free agency in recent years. The expectations are high for the defensive line to perform at a high level. The question is whether they can succeed to such a degree that the potential deficiencies in the middle of the field don't become a weekly liability. The last time the Giants used the first round pick on a linebacker was 1984 when they selected Carl Banks. Is it time for the Giants to take a new approach to improving the position? For Pure Sports New York, I'm Dan Evans.